Hello there! Have your parents ever told you stories about their past, about how their lives were much harder than yours? If so, you're not alone. My dad used to tell me all kinds of crazy childhood stories. Stories I hope to tell all 7 of you people out there watching my two videos. So I used to go out camping with my siblings and my father. When one night we were sitting around the campfire listening to my father's stories. To understand these stories you gotta understand where my father comes from and used to live. My father used to live in Tangier, a city in Morocco. Back then the city wasn't that big and police was almost non-existent. So violence used to be a pretty common occurrence. Anyway, back to the story. So he and his father were cleaning the porch when they saw a man. A 30 year old looking man running away from something with a big butcher knife in his hand. I don't know his name, so let's call him Todd for the moment. My grandpa wondered who or what Todd was running away from. Maybe from a big group of dogs trying to eat him alive. Or maybe he was running away from some shady man in black suits trying to get him in their equally shady black fan after he said that the king sucks. He got his answer a second later when he saw a big group of children that might have been around 16 or 17 years old running after Todd with sharp knives, big and small, they had them all. My grandpa decided to stand between Todd and the angry mob of children because he wanted to know why they were running after the guy. When asked, they said that Todd killed a local shop owner. Everyone knew the shop owner since he was the only guy besides the butcher and the baker that sells stuff. The same guy that killed the local shop owner was hiding behind my grandpa like a wall that were between him and the angry mob of teens, thinking that he was safe as long as he was hiding behind my grandfather. But his thoughts would be proven wrong only seconds later, because my uncle, bless his kind heart, snuck up behind him and I shit you not, slammed him on the back of his head with one of those chairs that you see WWE wrestlers use in their matches or fights, whatever they call them. And then he fell to the ground. Children were surrounding him, stabbing him, mutilating him. He screamed, screamed for help that never came. After the friendly encounter, Todd was left lying on the cold hard floor, choking on his own blood. He looked up at the beautiful sun, trying to reach it with his bloodied hands. Todd died then and there, killed by a group of kids after killing an innocent shop owner. All for maybe $30. Well. Who lives by the sword, dies by the sword I guess. What a shitty way to die. What if Jesus came back from the future like the Terminator and said to Peter Peter, he will live by the Glock, dies by the Glock. Just a passing thought. Back to business. I wonder what Todd's last thoughts were while being stabbed to death by a bunch of kids like Henry from Mafia 2. Okay, okay. I'm sure the last thing he thought about was being butchered like a pig by a bunch of teens when he woke up that morning. The moral of the story is that you should make sure to leave no witnesses after committing a crime. Because you know what they say, leave a witness to see the crime, you'll get stabbed by kids in no time. That sounded way better in my head, but the damage has already been done, so... Thanks for watching my video and remember to do all things every other YouTube person tells you to do. Like, like and subscribe and whatever the fuck. You wanna die a whore?